going to show you a little trick where we can get the program's semi-automatic information to work in our favour. If you've ever had any of my tutorials before, you'd know that I always tell you to have the optimise entry exit points unchecked. If we have that checked, we lose control of how the program is going to sew, which isn't what we want to do. I'll just show you that if I just draw a line across from left to right and then another line across from left to right, you'll see the jump is in the middle. So we would have sewn that line going across there. Then we would jump down and sew that line going across there because we haven't got the optimised entry exit points checked. If I was to go up to the met to the sew menu and check those options, you'd see that the program decides that the nearest point that it wants to join to is obviously the end of that line. So it would sew across. It would then jump down there, sew to the beginning because this is where we started and then sew across to the other end again. So we'd end up with this line running twice. I'm just going to select those and change them to black so you can see them a little bit more easily. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in the sew simulator. So let's just, we'll have it on the slow speed. You can move this along. That's the fast and that is the slow. So we'll have it on slow so we can see our line goes across from left to right. And then because we've got that optimised entry exit point checked, it's going to immediately jump down to the nearest point, but it's going to go back on itself because we wanted the line to start here. And then it will go back to where it knows it's got to finish. And that isn't what we want to happen normally when we're digitising because we've got no control about how many times that line is going to stitch. The same thing would happen if our line was set slightly to one side. You can see that it's always going to go to the nearest point. doesn't matter where it is, it goes to its nearest point. So that isn't a good option to have. So we always want to have that unchecked. Even if we select them now and go up to the menu and uncheck that again, you can see it won't undo it. It will put it in if we accidentally checked it, but it won't undo it again. So that's because the program is deciding how it wants to stitch, but we can use that to our advantage sometimes. Say we wanted to do a face, let's just draw out an oval shape. Now we don't want a green face, let's have a pink one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to give him some hair to take the free motion pencil and I'm just going to draw some ringlet shapes. Just nothing particular, but we're just going to draw them out. Now you can see I've got the optimise entry exit turned off at the moment and you can see that each time I draw a ringlet we're getting we're going to the end and we're getting a jump stitch back. We're going to the end and getting the jump stitch back. Now you might think well we could actually have these set. If we sewed them twice they'd sew out and then sew back in again. So if we go to sewn attributes and we change that to sew twice and we click on sew twice on all of them. Just don't need to go OK or anything you just hover it over. You'll see the screen flashes and then you'll see that it changes to sew twice. But it hasn't made any difference to our jump stitches at all. We are sewing that line twice. Well, in actual fact, we're going to be sewing it three times because the program knows that it starts there and it finishes there. So if it's to sew it twice, it would run out and run back in again. But because it knows it's got to finish there, it's going to run back out again. So in actual fact, these ringlets are actually sewing three times. This um, sewing twice changing into sewing three times or sewing four times will change into five uh, five times always an odd number happened in version five upwards when we got the option to change the entry exit points so we can see that sewing twice is not going to be our answer so let's just change all those back to just the once for the moment and then we can see another a cheat way of getting our ringlets to so exactly in and out on top of themselves. Not that you might want to do ringlets, but you never know. So if we were now to go up to the sew menu and check on optimise entry exit points, 
you'll see that all our jump stitches have moved in. This is because it's going to its nearest point. Now in this particular instance, that little bit of ringlet is nearer than that piece there. We can get round that. If we take the straight line tool, if we had the other one on, we can just draw ourselves a little line in between. But we'd need to move that in between the first and second ringlet. Let's just close that box off again and you can see that our jumps are all going round the hair. Obviously we would have this arranged a little bit better than that but that's just a little cheats way where the sewing optimised entry exit points is going to work in our favour. If we were doing a teddy bear for instance and we were putting fur around it we might not want the um, curved one there, we might want to use the straight one if we were just to come out because the optimised entry exit is checked now I've got to watch here because the jump stitches here are actually near the points there are slightly nearer to each other than the insides so if we just move those down a little bit we get those jumps on the inside and not on the outside. Just that the program will always jump to the nearest point. So you can play around and actually use some of the semi-automatic stuff in there to our advantage. A lot of these tools in here we can use them the way we want to use them and not the way that they were designed to be used. So that's just a little tip there to get your line sewn exactly on itself without you having to double back because to actually try and draw these spiral lines back again would be practically impossible. Just to show you that they are working, let's just, we don't want the pink so we'll bypass the pink and then we'll go straight into the brown here. Let's move it up a little bit, come out, we go back in again exactly on top of where we were doing it last, out and in, out and in. Then we're going to jump over to do the furry bit on the other side now and you can see that they're stitching exactly on top of each other but with no jumps on the outside.